All right, we got the dinghy running. Yeah, we're in these big orange ugly life vests, but they'll work. I got a four pack of them that came with the sailboat. But uh, we just drove the dinghy from here over to that beach and the dogs ran up and down it. It wasn't until we got over to that beach I realized I didn't have the GoPro. Which I got all the GoPro ready and cleared out the screen. <laughs> but the weather's so nice. The water's nice and flat. It's not cold. So we're going to take the dinghy for a spin with the dogs. See where we end up. Ought to be fun though.
we drove all the way over to the city over there basically in the dinghy we got over to Berkeley and uh, only had a little bit of gas left like maybe a third of the tank three gallon is all I bought I was told a three gallon should get here at the 20 all day there I guess it is something like two miles or something like that I don't know it might be five I have no idea I'll have to look it up I'll see if I can put that on the screen somewhere but uh we drove around this bay Played with the dogs. Beach. Brought the dinghy back over here. Drove all the way out and around the cove. Came back in. And this is after we did the cove a couple of days ago. Same way. And uh, on the uh, you know, we had like a little over a third or two thirds of a tank when we left here. So I guess that a few trips around the cove and over the beach wiped out the amount of gas we had. Chewed up two thirds of it. I wasn't sure we'd have quite enough to make it back. Flashing, you can see down here on the rocks. That's pretty much just what it was like at the bow of the dinghy. The dogs were not happy. Too choppy to just stop and wait. So, you know, those white caps, which you can see over here and there. It's when we'd hit those and drop down into the trough and dive into the next wave. That's when it would be splashed. It was a lot of fun for the first 20 minutes, but it took us an hour to get across to get back over here. In that hour, we were wet and cold and some, I wasn't too miserable, but she was miserable. Wind blowing in her ear and dogs were wet, laying on the bottom. The bow had been going up and slamming down into it, so they'd slid back towards the back of the boat just on their own will. It wasn't like they were actually sliding. They just, if they moved, they kept moving towards the back because it didn't rise and fall as hard. And I don't blame them for that, but it made the rise and fall much harder on Christine at the front and harder for me to deal with the, the swell. But the dinghy did fine. It wasn't that bad. I mean, this looks nasty. It is pretty rough when you're driving right into it. Probably would be a lot easier in the big boat. But we pulled it off. We got back over to the arena. And uh, I'm walking over to the grocery store. Because uh, we bought chicken breast. We bought this uh, scalloped potato thing. I tried to cook it in the oven. I followed the directions on the money, but stove is a burner on the bottom it's a gas stove and uh, I guess that having the pork chops on top and the, 
potatoes on the bottom, I burned the crap out of the bottom of it. Black plate on the bottom of the cooking dish. So I'm going to go over and do something a little easier. You know, as a side dish for the chicken breasts that we're going to marinate.